Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where of course every single day is a train show. My name is DJ, today we're going to be taking a look at some things that hopefully we'll be finding their way on your layout this fall. And we're going to get started in the Engineer Hall with a brand new caboose kit from Scale Trains. Check out this, this is the Steel Cabola Caboose Kit. Let me open this up. Some assembly is required, but as you can see, you have all the parts there to make an awesome looking caboose here. And if you don't like Santa Fe, well, don't worry. I got a whole bunch of different rodents for your consideration, such as the Burlington Route. We have here the Rio Grande. I have the Missouri Pacific. I have the CP Rail. I love the Pac-Man logo. We have here the Milwaukee Road. The Southern Pacific, boy, that sure is terrific. And of course, we have here the Burlington Northern. Now, the neat thing about these caboose kits is they are very affordable. The retail value on these kits is $26.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $21.99. So it's a very nice rainy day project. We can get rolling on the end of your trains. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get a caboose or eight of them rolling on your rails today. Now here at the channel, we have a whole bunch of us, you can see from time to time, you see Christian, Ken, Engineer Hall, myself, we're all rail fans. We love taking pictures and videos of trains, so I thought what better way to celebrate that than to have a rail fan contest on our show. What do you think, Engineer Hall? That's a great idea. All right, of course it is, because I thought of it. Mm. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a picture that we have taken over the last however many years our favorite photo of an engine and then you guys are actually going to vote which one's your favorite all right so you ready so here is my submission here as you can see engineer hall this is of course the queen of steam 611 running in virginia actually a couple weeks ago i love the look of the smoke there i think that is a great photo and you can hear this can't you hear this uh, this uh, picture engineer hall i i, I sure i can feel it so I think that's a great one, all right? So that's our first submission. We'll take a look at some more as we get on hey, with our show. Hey, what's on your shirt? What? You got something on your shirt. Oh, yeah. You can see what I did there? Uh, Subliminal messages. There you all go. All right. Hey, let's take a look at a box card that I think you folks are really going to like from Atlas. Check out these puppies here in a whole variety of colors. So these are the CNCF 5000 box cars, and I have a whole bunch of different road names, including road names that you don't necessarily see on the rails. You know, I know a lot of us have Norfolk Southern, Santa Fe, etc. But these are some road names that you might not necessarily have, and I think that's kind of cool that it has some difference happening on your railroad. Now these cars are very nicely detailed here, and they're pretty heavy too. I'm going to come in here, let's take a look at this Ferramex here. So this is a heavy car, and I like the look. These have all the safety bands on there, you have all the labels and whatnot. Of course I have a great looking logo there. Take a look at the side here, I think the side is where these cars really pop there. You see the brake wheel happening on this side, and that side. Got a couple of different ladders happening here. Very nice car. These are very nice cars here. They roll really nice too. I like nice operational cars here. Now the retail value of these box cars is $59.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $41.99. Now again, these are very heavyweight cars here. You don't need to weigh these down. They glide across the rails. I really like them, and if you're looking for something a little bit different on your railroad, I think these fit the bill. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these cars today. All right, so we have Engineer Hall submission here. I'm going to take this. We're going to flip it around. Engineer Hall, what is your submission for our contest? This is my submission here. This is the NS Safety Train here. Ooh. I got a two powers on the head in. I got a bus car. Uh, the tank cars also double as uh, classrooms and um, for the first responders. So um, it's a great train to have here. You also can build this on your model railroad. So this is why I took a photo of this. Wow, wait a minute. Lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it. Oh, I see what we did there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see to read it. Okay, there I gotcha. Go. So, go. wait. So, that, that's a pretty good. So, you're telling me that this train teaches people? Yes, it teaches people or well, teaches first responders how to respond to a situation on a railroad. Oh, cool stuff. All right, so we got two submissions in our contest. Mine has a lot more steam and looks better. So anyway, we're going to take a look here at some Wait a minute, mine's more colorful for Atlas. And we have here two different versions. We have an SD7 and an SD9. Look at these diesel engines here that we have here. Now I got to start with the SD7s. Of course, I have here the Burlington Route. I have here the Chicago and Northwestern and a really cool looking chassis system. Then for the SD9s, I have here the Central of Georgia, the Southern Pacific, the Burlington Northern. I got a Montana Rail Link, and finally we're gonna end with Big Blue, 
Conrail. Ooh. Now these are really great looking diesel locomotives here. And if you want to model the SD era here, especially the early SD eras with the sevens and nines, I think these engines really do fit the bill for you. But you know, we can look at them all we want, but I think the fun part about it is running these engines. Engineer Hall, what do you think? Absolutely. All right, so let's fire them up and let's see what we got happening here. Let's run that Montana rail leg. We don't really do too much Montana rail leg, so let's fire that up. Let's go. I got that Montana rail link on the rails. Let's see what it sounds like. Good day. Here's the bell. Here's the horn. And fire it. And let's high ball. Now arriving, the Montana Railway. That's a great sounding diesel locomotive here, and I really enjoy that. So the retail value of that diesel is $254.95, but we're selling here at Yankee Delta for $179.99. So I think you need those engines rolling your uh, trains today, so come get them for your railroad. Some of you might be looking for some paint to weather up your diesel locomotives or anything on your railroad. And I have this new thing from Ammo. This is the Rail Center. Check this out here. I have a whole bunch of different paints that we can use to weather your diesel locomotives or touch up whatever you need to do. I especially like these down here. If you take a look here, I have a couple of different uh, versions here. I have the Trackside Wash here. I have Soil Wash. I have an Age Wash. I have Old Streaking Dust. I have a whole bunch of really neat things that I can do uh, to weather my trains and make them look really cool. And every single one of these is available on our website. So if you type in Ammo or Rail Center, this will pop up. You can see what you can do to really make your trains look like they are are part of the real world. I also have these uh, packets right here. These are really cool. These are called Classic American Railroad Companies. And say if I want all my, I want to paint a CSX diesel locomotive or an Amtrak diesel locomotive, I have all the colors in here to make that happen. So these are really cool. So check these out on our website, yankeedabloy.com. Get some paints on your railroad today so you can decorate your things to look the best that they possibly can. So I have my third submission in our rail fan uh, photo contest here, and we got Ken. Ken, come on in here and talk about your photo that we have here that you took. Go ahead, take it away. So this is a CSX yard job in Willsmere, Delaware, is taken in February of 2020. We just happened to be at the right place at the right time and got a really nice angle of this uh, yard job working out of the north end of Willsmere Yard. Okay, I have a problem though. There, there's not enough smoke or steam or chugga chugga. Okay. Um, hey, hey, question. Question. What, what kind of uh, locomotive is that? They're both SD40-2s. 
Ooh, no, see. No chega, chega. Yeah, I don't know. Mm, but but you got you got some good horsepower. I'll give him that. I don't see any horses. No, uh, not horsepower. Well, thanks. Appreciate it, Ken. If uh, if you want to vote for Ken's, you know what he has there. We got some more diesels for you to take a look at here. We have some HO. What are these? These are SD thirty eight dash twos. Check out these engines here from Scale Trains. I have a bunch of different road names for your consideration here. Of course, I have the Southern Pacific. I have here the L and N. I have here the BC Hydro Railway. I have the EJ and E in a bicentennial paint scheme. And then, what's this? Look, it's the Yankee Dabbler Town. No, That's cool. No. We got our own engine in Yankee Dabbler Town. And look, yeah. there's another Yankee Dabbler Town one there. No, it's, it's not. It's, it's Yankee Town. Yankee Town? No, it's Yankee Dabbler no, went it's, to it's town, town ride. I'm pretty sure that was the song. I, it's I a song like that, but yeah. it's that, that's Riding not it. Riding on an SD38-2. It was great. It was great. Yeah, I mean, anyway, okay, okay. these are great looking diesel locomotives here. Let's take a look. You know what? Let's take a look at this Yankee Dabbler town here. And if you take a look here, I really like the looks of these engines. In particular, you look at the trucks and you see all the various different hoses and pumps. I'm sure Engineer Harl can tell me what they are because I'm sure I'll get it wrong. But... And a nice little beacon happening up here. Let's take a look at the reverse side. This is a cool looking diesel engine. Oh, there you go. I had to focus on it. Oh, okay. yeah. There you go. I got this focus is cool. on good detail. Wow, even look into the cab there. You see some various things happening inside of there. I like it. Wow. Let's we'll try the other side. Okay. Let's see what's inside there. Nice. It's a little dark in here, but yeah. Is there? That's cool. Stand These there. are really cool looking diesel locomotives here. So I really particularly like this Yankee Town. So we're going to drive, drive, run, whatever the correct verb is. We're going to put this on the rails and we're going to see what it sounds like. So Yankee Dabbler went to town riding on a... You could have told me to stop recording. I was singing that song for 12 minutes. You kept going on and on. I had to stop you. Anyway, let's take a look at what this diesel engine looks like. Now, before we get started here, I have a whole bunch of different lights happening here. Of course, I got this beacon happening here. I have a pulse signal light happening up here. And check a look at this classification lights. Look, white, green, red, we're off. I love it. Let's get fired up. Cool. Let's hear the bell. Let's hear the horn. Get fired up. Go three to the couple. Two to go. One more. Half. Truck. Far enough. Get a stretch. Alright, all aboard. Out of the door. On the phone. Dabbler, keep it up, Yankee Dabbler, dandy, keep the orders coming in and make the train guys happy. Huh. 
That's a great diesel locomotive. I really like that one. And if you want, you can have it. Now, it retails for $355.99, but we're selling it here in Yankee Dabbler for $279.99. It's a great diesel to have. And if you want Engineer Hall and I to sign it, then it's $1,279. So, oh, in 99 cents. 99 cents. All right. So, yeah, get one of those engines running on your rail today. So even if you um, you know want to go with one of the more prototypical paint schemes with the Southern Pacific or the LNN, I think they sound great. So, all aboard. So we saw three of our rail fan pictures. Of course, we had my awesome steam locomotive, engineer hall, safety thing, Ken's uh, diesel. And we actually asked Frank to give me one, and he submitted this. Um, hey, Frank, you want to talk about your picture? No. Okay, so it's Frank's. Well, maybe it's on. Oh. Anyway, let's take a look at all the diesel locomotives and rolling stock that we saw in today's show here. From scale trains, we had these caboose kits here, and I really enjoyed uh, putting those together here. I know you will too. We have here from Atlas, we had these box cars here and a whole bunch of different varieties and paint schemes. We had from scale trains again, we had these SD38-2s. And of course, from Atlas, we had these N scale SD7s or SD9s. Woo, we had a lot of really cool looking diesel locomotives and rolling stock for your consideration. But of course, if you're looking for something that isn't on our show for today, well, you always go on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type in what you're looking for in the search bar, and we will get whatever you're looking for shipped to your house in a matter of days so you can enjoy doing whatever you do with your railroad. It's your railroad. There's no wrong answers. And we'll do a recap of our picture contest, our railfan picture contest. Now, of course, this was my photo. Gorgeous looking steam engine. It looks dirty. And this was Engineer Hall's uh, safety school train thing. I'm gonna learn you something. Yeah, whatever. Uh, this is uh, Ken CSX uh, Delaware Bills Mercy, whatever. Uh, this was uh, Frank's picture. Uh, so yeah. So if you think whatever well, PJ, one, what didn't do my picture. Oh, you have a picture? Yeah, I took it myself. It's really good. What is it? It's a rail fan picture. Look, I even got a model of it. Uh oh. Don't need that. See, it fits perfectly. It's even your scale. He ain't lying about that neither. Okay, so if you want Christian's rail fan photo, um, vote for that one on the YouTube comment page. Let us know which photo you think is the best, okay? Thank you. Who let you out of the house? Okay. So, uh, we are going to conclude today's show with a rail fan video. We're going to be taking a look at the Queen of Steam herself, 611, going through the Virginia countryside at track speed. So, it's a very impressive shot. Hope you enjoy it. So, until next time, i got to make sure he doesn't get into any more mischief. Uh, mi mischief. I'll take care. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, why don't we put you in the corner so that way nothing can happen? Okay.